Good morning. I am Tarana Rajura. I welcome you all to the new session of our lecture series on money and banking. These lectures are helpful for general elective students and BA economics only students. So today's topic is money supply. This is part two of chapter fourteen. So we move to the first slide. So today we discuss the determinants of money supply. So there are three determinants of money supply. First is Federal Reserve determinants of money supply, monetary base, and required reserve ratio. Monetary base is also known as high powered money. high powered money is currency in the hand plus the commercial bank reserves okay required reserve ratio is also known as cash reserve ratio then we have banking system determinants of money supply market interest rates on loan risk of deposit withdrawals interest rate on borrowed reserves third is public determinants of money supply fees on checkable deposits interest rates on checkable deposits income probability of bank failure illegal activity We move. We move to the next slide. Federal Reserve determinants of money supply. Number one is monetary base. It is also known as high powered money. Fed can increase monetary base by engaging in open market operations. In open market operation, Fed will do purchase of securities. When they want to increase the money supply, they will purchase securities from the people and they will give money to the people. So it will increase the monetary base and. Money supply in the economy. In the same way, when there is a sale of securities, Fed will uh, decrease the money supply and uh, due to decrease in monetary base. Second is required reserve ratio. So required reserve ratio is the fraction of deposits that regulators require a bank to hold in reserves rather than lent out or invest. So these are the reserves which banks kept for withdrawals. Okay, so Fed can change money supply with the help of required reserve ratio. It is also known as cash reserve ratio. So, with change in required reserve ratio, Fed can alter the money multiplier and thereby changing the money generated from monetary base. So, when there is an increase in required reserve ratio, it will reduce the money multiplier and reduce the money supply. There is an increase in money uh, required reserve ratio. Money multiplier will decrease. There is a decrease in money supply. When there is a decrease in required reserve ratio, it will Increase the money multiplier and it will increase the money supply. We move to the next slide. Banking system determinants of money supply. So first is market interest rates on loan. So higher the market interest rates on loan, higher the opportunity cost of holding excess reserves because on reserves we are not getting any kind of interest rate. So desired ratio of excess reserves will decline with increase in interest rates on loan. when the market interest rate on loan increases the desired ratio of excess reserves will decline and there will be increase in money supply so excess reserve ratio it declines and there is a increase in money supply there is a inverse relationship between excess reserve ratio and money supply second is risk of deposit withdrawal so bank hold excess reserve to deal with unexpected withdrawals higher the risk of such withdrawal greater is the excess reserves uh with the bank greater is the excess reserve ratio lesser will be the money supply interest rates on borrowed reserves see bank faces sudden need for reserves they can avoid calling for loan because they can borrow uh, reserves from other banks so when interest rate on these borrowed reserve rises then what will happen they will become less attractive excess reserve ratio in the economy in the bank will rise then there will be increase uh, decline in money multiplier and decrease in money supply we move to the next slide public determinants of money supply so first point is interest rates on checkable deposits so what are checkable deposits we keep our money in our saving account so these are checkable deposits we can withdraw them anytime so cost of holding money in the form of currency is the foregone interest rate earned on deposits so when interest rates on checkable deposit rises the attractiveness of holding money declines which reduces the currency to deposit ratio and there will be increase in money supply so there is a inverse relationship between currency to deposit ratio and money supply when interest rate on checkable deposit rises people will uh, reduce the currency in their hand and they will increase the deposit and there will be increase in money supply okay so they will be, uh, reduce the currency to deposit ratio and there will be increase in money supply second point is fees on checkable deposits fees like maintenance charges atm withdrawal charges are basically cost of holding money in the form of deposits so when these fees increases 
the attractiveness of holding money in the form of currency increases and also uh, increases the currency to deposit ratio so as currency to deposit ratio increases there will be decrease in money supply okay third point is income so income of uh, money holders increases the currency to deposit ratio so as income increases currency to deposit ratio declines see in general people with higher income rely more on financial system they use credit cards debit cards okay then currency and those with lower income are more likely to use currency they more likely to use cash so higher the income lower the currency to deposit ratio larger will be the money supply okay we move to the next slide probability of bank failure uh when the bank uh, when the probability of bank failure rises there will be a bank panic and it will trigger the demand for cash and people will keep more currency in hand so currency to deposit ratio rises and money supply will decrease okay so when there is crisis uh, people always want to keep money in their hand currency in their hands okay now we come to illegal activity black economy so underground money is that part of economy in which transactions are not recorded in official measurements of economic activity basically they are unrecorded cash transactions when there is an increase in underground economy currency to deposit ratio will increase and there will be decrease in money supply so these are the determinants of money supply so what we learn today a quick revision we learn today the determinants of money supply federal uh, reserve determinants monetary base required reserve ratio banking system determinants market interest rates on loan how it is connected with excess reserves public determinant interest rates on checkable deposits fees on checkable deposit income probability of bank failure illegal activities so we meet in the next session thank you